adventures with Willie. Let's go, go, go. Hey! Willie, Willie, the pineapple friend. Learning is fun, don't you know? Hey, hey, hey. Adventures with Willie. Let's start the show. <laughs> Pineapple Willie's presents. Willie's Gulf Coast Water Cycle Adventure. Aloha, beach buddies. It's your pal, Willie the Pineapple. And today, we're going on a splash-tastic adventure. We're going to explore the amazing water cycle along the Gulf Coast. Are you ready to dive in with me? Let's make some waves. First stop, the rivers. Rivers are like nature's water slides, carrying fresh water all the way to the ocean. Here in Northwest Florida, rivers start high up in the hills and make their way down, picking up water from rain and streams. Woo! Look at that water go! Next up, lakes. Lakes are like giant bathtubs surrounded by land that hold water from rivers, rain, and underground springs. They're perfect for swimming, fishing, and even relaxing. And guess what? Some lakes are so clear, you can see all the fish swimming around. How cool is that? Check out these springs, beach buddies. Springs are where water from aquifers deep underground come bubbling up to the surface. It's like magic. Here in Northwest Florida, springs help keep our rivers and lakes fresh and full. And the water is so clear and cold, it's like swimming in a giant glass of ice water. Now let's splash into the marshes. Marshes are like nature's water filters cleaning the water before it reaches the bays and beaches. They're home to all sorts of cool creatures, like frogs, birds, and even alligators. Marshes are super important for keeping our water nice and clean. They also help by keeping waves from storms and hurricanes from causing too much damage by slowing them down. High five for the marshes. Welcome to the bays. Bays are where fresh water from rivers meets the salty ocean water, also called an estuary, and creates what's called brackish water. It's like a big watery mix-up that's perfect for all kinds of marine life, from crabs to dolphins. Bays are like the ultimate hangout spot for sea creatures. Remember, anywhere a river meets a sea, you can find an estuary. And here we are back at the beach. The beach is where the water from rivers, lakes, springs, marshes, and bays finally ends up. This large open area allows for bigger organisms to survive and thrive. But the adventure doesn't stop here. The sun heats up the water, turning it into vapor that rises into the sky. And that's right, the water cycle keeps going and going. It's like the ultimate never-ending splash party. Wow, what a journey we've had today. We've explored rivers, lakes, springs, marshes, bays, and beaches, all connected by the amazing water cycle. Remember, beach buddies, every drop of water is super important. Let's all do our part to keep our waters clean and beautiful. Quiz time. What is brackish water and where can you find it? Brackish water is a mix of fresh water and salty ocean water. You can find it in places like bays, where rivers meet the sea. It's the perfect spot for animals like crabs and oysters to live. How do lakes get their water? Lakes get their water from rivers, rain, and underground springs. It's like a big bowl that collects all kinds of water. Why are marshes important? Marshes are super important because they help clean the water and provide a home for cool animals like frogs and birds. 
What happens to water when the sun heats it up at the beach? When the sun heats up the water, it turns into vapor and floats up into the sky, starting the water cycle all over again. Until next time, keep exploring. And remember, where there's water, there's always an adventure. Adios, beach buddies. Well